Welcome to a journey back to the 1986 TV series Valerie, also known as The Hogan Family. This show takes us into the life of Valerie Hogan, who is a mom juggling the ups and downs of raising three boys while her pilot husband is off and away. As we dive into the episodes, we find laughter in the everyday chaos, shock at the unexpected twists, and tears in the heartfelt moments. It's a series that reflects the joys and challenges of family life. I remember the first time I watched Valerie, it was a rerun on a lazy afternoon. The show struck a chord with me, reminding me of the importance of family and resilience. It inspired me to appreciate the little moments and the big laughs with loved ones. Now we'd love to hear from you. What's your most memorable moment or personal experience with the Valerie series? Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the series that has touched so many lives. I don't believe it. I thought we Hogan's were hardy stock. The 1986 TV series Valerie, later known as the Hogan Family, is remembered for its portrayal of a working mother balancing family life and career, a theme that was ahead of its time and remains relevant today. The show's focus on family dynamics, challenges, and growth continues to resonate with audiences, highlighting the timeless nature of its storytelling. Its ability to adapt to cast changes and maintain viewer interest also speaks to its strong character development and relatable storylines. The series set a precedent for future family sitcoms and is still appreciated for its humor and heartwarming moments. Any noises in class? Mom, he's the only one who doesn't laugh. <laughs> in a notable shift of events behind the scenes, the lead actress's departure led to a legal dispute over the show's title resulting in a court ruling that prevented the producers from using the original name. This change came after two seasons of disagreements over the show's direction, culminating in the actress being replaced. The situation mirrored a later dispute involving another popular sitcom, where the lead actress successfully maintained her role despite creative differences contrasting with the earlier outcome. Additionally, one of the actors recognized for his role in the sitcom also held a memorable place in cult film history for his portrayal of a character with extraordinary abilities in a well-known anthology film. Well, folks, mission accomplished. Jeremy Licht, known for his role in the show, has a career spanning various television roles and movies with a notable presence in the science fiction genre. In syndication, the show's third season is recognized under a different title, reflecting a shift in the show's branding. Despite portraying twins on screen, Licht is significantly older than his co-star Louis Daniel Ponce, highlighting the age flexibility often employed in casting for television. No, Mark, this is not your fault. I think I better talk to your brother alone, please. Okay. In the landscape of television, few have achieved what Valerie Harper did, securing an Emmy for both a supporting and lead role for the same character, a feat matched only by Robert Guillaume among male actors. Her legal victory alongside her husband against Laura Mortella Pictures marked a significant moment affirming her contractual rights. Harper's commitment to honesty was evident during a personal conversation with friend Carol Kane, where she chose to openly acknowledge her dismissal rather than disguise it as a departure. This stance reflects her integrity and openness, setting a standard for transparency in the industry. Omen to Obi-Kan. I mean, I'm not a superstitious person, but... In the landscape of television, connections between cast members often extend beyond the screen. This was evident when Jeremy Licht, known for his role on the show, served as a groomsman at his co-star Dan Ponce's wedding. The connection to music was also strong, with the theme song together through the years performed by the talented Roberta Flack, whose collaboration with Charles Fox brought forth memorable tunes, including the earlier hit Killing Me Softly with his song. When Valerie Harper faced a health crisis, her co-star Jason Bateman shared a heartfelt message reflecting on the laughter and positive energy she brought to all who met her. These moments highlight the enduring bonds and shared experiences that form within the world of television. Hey kid, you want a job? Hey, wait a minute. Now that you mention it, sure, it'd have to be part-time. Set in the backdrop of a Chicago suburb, the show portrays the everyday life of a family, despite being filmed elsewhere. Notably, some scenes feature Northwestern University. The departure of the lead actress led to a significant shift in the show's dynamic, including a rebranding and a dark twist for her character. 
Additionally, a change in casting brought a previously less prominent character into the forefront, altering the family's on-screen interactions and setting a new course for the series' narrative. Of course, you gotta have a personal philosophy. What's yours? Never take any crap from anybody. In the world of television, reuse of sets is a common practice for practicality and budget management. This was the case with the household scenes in this series, which shared its set design with other popular sitcoms of the time, Step by Step and Family Matters. On the directorial front, Jason Bateman made history by becoming the Directors Guild of America's youngest director at just 18 years old when he took the helm for three episodes. Adding to the show's connections, Eddie McClurg and Judith Cahan, who played the neighbors, both portrayed the character Grace the Secretary in different versions of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, with McClurg in the movie and Cahan in the television adaptation. Live through. Well, a man doesn't live history, son. A man lives life. In the landscape of television, shifts in casting can lead to significant changes, as seen with a popular family sitcom from the late 80s. The departure of its lead actress prompted a rebranding of the show not once, but twice. Initially bearing the lead actress's name, the show was retitled to reflect her on-screen family, despite her absence. Hopes for her return influenced this decision, but ultimately the show adopted a new title that focused on the family surname. The sitcom faced cancellation by two major networks, first in 1990 and then in 1991. A nod to the lead actress's previous work was evident in the opening sequence, where a tender embrace in an airport parking lot was set against a backdrop featuring a font style reminiscent of her earlier series. I could loan you the money. Can she do that? Well, I wouldn't. But she owes him for letting her be the race. In a dramatic shift within the television landscape, Sandy Duncan, known for her portrayal of Peter Pan on Broadway, stepped into a leading television role following Valerie Harper's departure from her series in 1987. Harper, who had been a fixture on the show, did not report to set, prompting the producers to continue the series under a new name with Duncan as the new lead. The change sparked a legal battle, resulting in Harper receiving a significant settlement and a share of the show's profits. Despite the cast change, the show persisted until 1991, marking a notable chapter in television history. Let me see. Just let me see. Well, not too bad, honey. It looks like a two- In a turn of events that mirrored the dramatic twists often seen on television, the show faced an unexpected challenge when its lead actress, Valerie Harper, was dismissed due to a dispute with the producers over salary and creative control. This led to her character's death off screen, and the show was subsequently renamed. The series continued with Sandy Duncan joining the cast as the boy's aunt, who steps in to help the family. The sudden change sparked discussions about actors' rights and the impact of such disputes on the narrative of a show. The series ran until 1991, navigating through these behind the scenes changes while maintaining its focus on family and humor. Called upon my name. Her line, her line, her line. <laughs>